Officer Dan coming back at you with another install video for GK Tech. This time we're installing the solid rear subframe bushings, which are made from a 6061 T6 aluminum, as you can see here. Go ahead and remove the subframe, then you're going to need to remove the bushings. There's a couple ways to do this. The first way is going to be to burn those suckers out. Who doesn't like burning stuff? Light them on fire until all the bushings fall out. Or the quicker way to do it, method two, is going to be to use a drill and a hole saw of the same size and drill the center of the bushing until it falls out. You're going to be left with the outer shell as you can see here. You're going to need to get rid of that. So grab a hacksaw, cut a slit in it, and then use a chisel to bend it inside. Flip it over, hit it on the bottom, and the outer shell will eventually pop right on out. Grab some sandpaper, clean up all the burrs and damaged areas. Now toss your subframe risers into the freezer for 12 hours. That makes them smaller so it's easier to press them in. The first method to actually push the bushings in is to use a press. Line up the bushing so it's as flat as possible and then simply press them in. Now if you don't have access to a press, you can bash these things in with a hammer. Use a plate of wood to kind of soften the blows, make sure the bottom is supported, and also make sure that you get it all the way flush with the subframe itself. Now it's time to install the subframe back into the car. Line the studs up to the subframe and you can lower the car down or raise the subframe up to the car. This will give you 15 millimeters of roll center correction. Now's the time to install the OEM brackets if you have them. Go ahead and hand tighten the nuts on. Then you're going to torque to these specs in this order as shown on the screen here. Once you have everything torqued, you're done. Enjoy your 15 millimeters of roll center correction. Officer Dan, out.